maybe you, uh, yes, you, many, many moons ago, years and years ago now, uh, helped contribute to a little fledgling Kickstarter called Mighty Number no. 9, the brainchild of the always illustrious KJ Inafune, uh, sort of creator of Mega Man. Um, well, it's a spiritual successor to the yes. old Blue Bomber. It's still a boy robot who is blue. After, uh, after what felt like decades of watching Capcom completely drop the ball with the Mega Man franchise, uh, we weren't really left with much, and then we got that cool movement of Kickstarter games that were being created by the people who worked on the original versions, who were breaking mm -hmm. off and basically doing these off-brand versions. We got stuff like Ukulele, we got uh, Bloodstain from Ko uh, Koji yep. Igarashi. We got Igarashi. Broken Age. Yeah, we had a whole bunch of cool stuff, and uh, this was this was the big darling right here. Mm -hmm. So Mighty Number no. Nine came out this week. No, Not good. Uh, yeah. Not so good. Let's, let's take mess. a look at everything that's going. It's one thing for a game to come out and it be, to be a disappointment. Obviously, after yeah. this long in development, it, you know, and people have their expectations for what they thought they were paying for and what they get. It's a little bit more complicated than that. For starters, uh, let's take a look at it's sitting at about 56 on Metacritic. So yeah. that's everybody's reviews. So that means it's very, very middle of the road on all platforms. Uh, one platform specifically, though, uh, people are popping up on uh, on on Reddit uh, saying that. The load times on Wii U are 30 to 45 seconds. Which is like Bloodborne bad. And that's not, this isn't like a visually stunning game by any means. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's a platformer. Like, and then of course there's complaints about the difficulty, and then there's just kind of the fact that, you know, I mean this is obviously one man's opinion, or, or woman's, whichever, but like it's, there's some swear words in there that I had to well, block out. I probably missed one. I really like that happen. quote. So there's a lot of issues with this game, right? And it's not just... So visually, it's a huge downgrade from what uh -huh. we were promised. When we first saw, uh, saw screenshots of this game, it was gorgeous. It had this almost like um, cel-shaded animated look yeah. to it. And then it went almost like full... It just looks like a, a game you download on iOS if you typed in Mega Man. Right. And then another game popped up. Um, and Megan Ma. Yeah, Megan Ram. Uh, and it's it kind of bums me out because... Um, this game was, it, like, fundamentally on a gameplay level, this game should just work. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't even really do that well. Now, this is not a broken game. This is not a trash, terrible piece of garbage game. But it's not a good game either. Mm -hmm. It does that cardinal sin of just being so middle-of-the-road mediocre yeah. that it's, it's you, you have to wonder what happened either way. Four million dollars uh, went into this game from Kickstarter It's also, backers. like, isn't that much money in it the grand scheme of game development. But KJ Anafuna got uh, reached out to for a comment. And I blurred out most of the rest of what he said, and uh, part of the sentence that had nothing to do with this. He said, and at the end of the day, even if it's not perfect, it's better than nothing. Yeah, that At hurts. least that's, and he said my opinion, but I forgot to highlight that part. <laughs> uh, uh, that, that bums me out. That really bums me out, because I don't like, that's like a waiter bringing out food that's like burnt and, or raw, and he's just like, well, you, I mean, you could hey, just uh, have you water could, on could the go, table. You could go eat rocks in the driveway. Yeah, like. Could. So what really sucks about this is that in this time, we still haven't gotten a new Mega Man game. Like, there mm -hmm. hasn't been a new dedicated, like, we haven't gotten Mega Man 11, which you think would be like, those were ostensibly widescreen NES games. 9 and 10 were awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, I tweeted out the other day that the entire Mega Man Legacy Collection was available on PS4 for 10 bucks for all six games. And if you're itching to play something like that, go play those, because they're superior in almost every single way. This one just bums me out, right yeah. down to the explosions, the graphical effects. Now, like, it wasn't bad enough that critics and gamers are upset about this thing. Yep. But one of the one of the biggest glass houses in the world. This happened the other day. Yeah, Let's another take a look blue at this. character jumped in. Yep. Uh, wound meets salt. Yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog's official verified Twitter account, which is uh, just some social media fire right there, says it's better than nothing. Yeah. Congrats. Yeah. Okay. Well, all right. Sure. Coming from this guy, you know, yeah. who's just been dropping hit after hit since the '90s. Um, this, this sucks, man. This really bums me out. Yeah. So, so you found a, an interesting it gets, sort of like cap to the end of it this. It just kind of keeps going. It uh, literally. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. So uh, as we were sort of getting the show together for today, I was just supposed to be screen capping Sonic the Hedgehog's tweets because that's part of my job description. Uh, I found out that Mighty Number no. 9's credits for all 70,000 Kickstarter backers clock in at three hours, 48 minutes, and four seconds. And one guy went to the trouble of uploading that to YouTube. Uh, and as you can see here, it goes through all these different mighty number 2,700 and, you know, 27,853. Oh my and God. most of them just say a generous backer who didn't want their names on it. Or maybe they changed their email in the time it took the game to actually come out. Uh, fun, uh, fun little <laughs> addition to this, by the way. Um, if you, can you pull that up real quick again? I want to show you something. The, 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 the biggest crime out of all of this, these names are not alphabetized. 
I think they're in order of when they donated. They're in order of your backer number. And I talked to Andrew Goldfarb, who's our news editor here, who put $120 into this Kickstarter and is still waiting on numerous amounts of rewards, including the NES cart it was supposed to be printed on. Uh, he doesn't know where to find his backer number. So he can't actually find his name in these credits. Oh. So he has to sit and watch. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. OK, so that's this pretty is, rough. This the good is news mess. is it's got this lovely kind of synthesized pan flute music. So if you have, uh, I don't know, if you have trouble falling asleep, yeah. Just queue up Mighty Number no. 9's uh, credits. Yeah, if you long you for the days when you were on the on hold with Comcast. Uh, one whole sleep cycle there. Yeah. Get uh, your circadian rhythms a-going. So I think we're going to call it right now. We're going to call it right now, uh, definitively, declaratively here on IGN. I think this is the most disappointing game of all time. Not the worst game of all no. time. Definitely not the worst. But the biggest letdown. This is a huge just... Like, we've been watching the air come out of this balloon for so long, and now they, they popped whatever's yeah. left. It's just bad. Yeah, I think it's, it's that sweet spot, because it was about three years. You could say Duke Nukem Forever, more disappointing, but I think a yeah. lot of people were like, yeah, after 12 years, you're kind of like, yeah, I don't, I don't think Dad was getting cigarettes. I think he's, I think he's really gone, you know? Like, now, this was just long enough that you're like, that's what, what took you so long? What is this? Dad shouldn't be smoking to begin with. Yeah.